Hello and welcome back to Battletech. This could be very much, very well the last episode. Um, we'll see. Mechs have been reduced performance, may have re reduced performance in battle. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the crab took a, a shot to the head, so um, it could very potentially be destroyed in this, uh, you know, mission. We, I don't know how vicious this is going to get, um, so it could get really bad. Uh, I have swapped um, Decker into the crab, which is going to be kind of hilarious if he uh, unfortunately dies and then Big Simple lives in the Highlander. But, um, you know, hilarious in a suck way, in a bad that, that's that's terrible. Oh, uh, oof. Um, you know, but um, anyway, we're, we're touching down on the arena to basically fight Victoria for, you know, the entire an entire planet like someone someone has so much ego that they think that it, you know they, they they can brawl it out like this planet is mine it's kind of absurd but hopefully uh we won't have as bad of like uh performance issues in as in the last episode victoria i need you to listen to me the directorate has fallen our armies have been routed even as I speak, restoration for forces are closing in on Cordia City. If you kill your cousin now, the entire Reach will fall into anarchy. And if Kamea wins, the Reach is doomed anyway. You've been telling me that for years now. Was it all a lie, Father? Victoria, this is not the time for debate. You will attend to my words or and obey me, as you always have. I order you to stand down for the good of the Reach. The Directorate is the Reach, Father, and I will never stop fighting for it. Wallow in your cowardice. I will win this war in spite of you. She's cut the line. You're gonna have to put her in the ground, Lady Arena. She's too far gone for this to end any other way. If that is her choice, then so be it. I'll do whatever I must to save o Lord Madeira. Fallen on me, mech warriors. We have one more wrong to right. I have a funny feeling that Alexander is gonna be in her mech somehow, tied up. As if that makes much sense. Let's uh, get in on that forest, get that cool damage reduction. We got a cool battlefield here. There is our contact, four mechs. Unknown, unknown, unknown. This is our freebie round. We don't get to do anything, you know, on this round. So, aha, here we go. Took you long enough, Kamea. I was beginning to wonder if you, oh, you'd turned tail and run. It wouldn't have been the first time. I'm here for you, Victoria, and the justice of House Arano rides with me. How poetic. I have no justice for you, Kamea. No flowery words. Only pain and death and humiliation and Lord Madeira as your audience. Let him go, Victoria, now. Quit wasting your breath. We've both waited for this long enough. Come to me, cousin. Let's finish this. Um, hopefully, okay, they don't get to a chance to, uh, fight us. We are going to get to get, a, uh, like, we have water to cool us down, so that's kind of nice. Um, we can take uh, some shots on the 70 ton, the cataphract. We don't have a lot of, um, let's not waste a, uh, precision strike this early. Uh, I just realized by swapping Big Simple out of the crab, we probably cut a lot of its heat distribution. Also, I have a funny feeling it's, um... Oh, you can eject your pilot? Huh, I didn't even realize that. Uh, probably it's got reduced performance. Max injuries increased, prevents three. I'm trying to figure out why the heat is so bad right now, but whatever. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with this. It's not great, but we did hit the head, apparently. Got a Jaeger mech. I can't take much more of this. So we should be able to get a pretty good line of sight. Um... We can probably take this guy out now. No. 
No, unfortunately. I would like to... I would like to take that thing out. I, I, you know, it would just... Immediately getting something off the battlefield would be really nice. There we go. So we've got a hundred ton mech. Oh, they've also got a king crab. Good lord. Is this what uh, Victoria is riding in? That is marsh. We got a lot of not great uh, environment right now. It's going to take a lot of hits to take that king crab out. Oh, it's got flamer plus pluses. That's got to be Victoria's mech. Yeah, it is. Bummer. Um, yeah, I mean, no time like the present, right? We did not hit it very well. I mean, Arano is probably not a great pilot. Let's be honest. For the Oregon people. Let's get in that water and uh, see if we can't get a good sh a shot. The head's got... Like, we could pretend... If we get a lucky shot on the head... I mean, it's got damage reduction, but still, we're doing 75 damage with the gauze. I don't expect to get that shot, but it would be so satisfying if we did. That's a lot of damage that uh, Arano's mech just took. Probably when it's not wise to like hit the crab right away, but honestly like the quicker we do this the quicker this ends, right? Yes, Commander. We don't really have we, we don't have like a lot of weaponry we can expend with the crab what we can do oh no that'll still take us over the problem is is that king crab their king crab has flamers a lot of flamers so like it's a real problem if i get close to overheating i would have yeah we did knock it over fantastic Send your to me, and watch. if we knocked it over Earning us nothing. <laughs> yeah, they overheated the crab. Shutting down. My heat gauge is pegged. That's um, really bad. Standing by. So we've got a pretty good line of sight on them. We should we could potentially do some nice damage here, but like I don't have any more uh, precision strikes, so We did at least take out a couple of flamers. That's decent the, armor. the this this is gonna suck for the crab because right now it's it's so painfully exposed And they're picking on it as well. I have a funny feeling Decker's not getting at, getting out of this. Reporting major armor loss. Um, let's go for that shoulder and try and take. Actually, might be worth uh, trying to take out the leg since it's kind of close to um, dying. We did knock it over. I really got to stop giving a crap about like doing stability damage because it just never pays off. I've had more luck with headshots than I have uh, with leg shots. Because I was thinking like if we could knock it over. Yeah, I mean, we knock it over now. It really doesn't help us at all. If we could have knocked it over and let the annihilator take get some free shots on it. That would have been really good. She gets a cool paint job on her crab, huh? So she's going to do some more flame. Wow, to the crab? 
Or is that the Atlas? Oh. Reading. Okay. That one hurt. It's reporting. Heavy damage. Um, I'm just gonna continue hitting it. Probably, like I said, it's, it would have been better to hit anything else. But, you know, it's the heaviest thing on the on the field. It's like a lot of a lot of firepower. Atlas is now exposed. That sucks. You're as much a victim as you're you are a murderer, Victoria. Your father raised you to kill in his name. And you are a fool. Your father raised you to believe you were the hero of some ridiculous fairy tale, and you still believe it, even now. I don't know what I believe anymore, but this madness must end, and if it won't stop it, if you won't stop it, I will. Do we... we have enough for precision strike? I'm pretty sure we can take out... Oh, the annihilator is almost overheated. So we're not going to be able to hit it with everything. Pretty sure they'll, this will still be enough, though. We seriously didn't kill it? I should have just overheated the Annihilator. Okay, Crab is, like, seriously taking a beating. I... If this doesn't, how, why do we have such horrible chances of hitting it right now? Is it just because, like, the thing, our mech is damaged? Is that why? I really just need to kill this thing. Okay, perfect. All of this death, static, the coup, perdition, mastiff, all of it for nothing. True. It was always for nothing, Victoria. The Directorate was never going to be the return to glory that your father promised. I know, cousin. I I know. Our fathers lied to us. There is no future for the Reach. You are the hero of nothing, cousin. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Victoria. You left me no choice. But make no mistake. Justice has been served here today. I am the Sword of Restoration. And Cormadir is free. I mean, uh, that's nice for you, I suppose. If she died now and I had to restart the mission, that would be like one of the worst ways I end this. I end this series. Sir, uh, this is actually fine, I think. Maybe this would be better. Nope. Um, we want her left arm facing. Okay. It's her right arm that's damaged. So we need to be facing kind of away like this. For justice. For the restoration. Target confirmed. You'd think that these guys would like stand down now that Victoria has eaten it. Like, there's really nothing left to fight. Receiving you. Um, let's angle our right arm like this, and that way we're not, you know, we've got our best armor facing that what's left but we are going to attack can we not attack that mech i don't understand this game sometimes it, what why not okay cool i mean i i guess i just lose a turn cool solid um i mean i'm just gonna try and take out that I'll honestly reserve some uh yeah we, we this is fine there we go okay so it's just the awesome left Got it. might be worth overheating mm, 
this is fine nice we killed it in one fantastic oh that was really quick actually 15 minutes i wonder is that is that really the end i wonder four million for that uh the atlas lost some stuff i could care less um we did lose a srm 6 plus plus that kind of sucks but we kept what matters mostly it's the annihilator um we don't get to keep any of the king crab which sucks like why not honestly why how come we don't get to we don't get any of the king crab okay wow um for such a climactic battle we really don't get like anything cool here we get to build a cataphract I, I know we like these are nice parts for sure but you know i wanted a king crab part i feel like i could have you know gotten a king crab part so the only loose end here is like where is alexander Um, I'm predicting a uh, cutscene here. I began this restoration because my birthright was stolen, and I wanted it back. Not for the people of the Reach, but because it was mine. I wanted war for all the wrong reasons. But on Weldry, I traded that naivete for nobler purpose. Seeing my people suffering with my own eyes taught me why I must fight. On Artru, I found humility. Blinded by righteousness, I was reckless in my pursuit of power, and it almost cost us the war. On Galdra, I learned to steal my heart. I chose necessity over conscience, a choice that nearly broke me. Finally, on Coromadir, the world of my birth, I found resolve. And standing over my cousin's broken body, victory. Only through these lessons, paid for in blood, did I become a ruler worthy of title. A high lady prepared to sit the Cormoran throne, the protector of Coromadir, the sword of restoration. But this question still plagues me. Am I a hero? Did I sacrifice too much at the altar of victory? Do my triumphs outweigh my mistakes? War is a clash between conscience and necessity. An ocean of chaos and bloody compromise. War shapes history. And history chooses its heroes. As for you, mercenary, you made the liberation of the Oregon Reach a reality. Every trial I faced would have been my last without your skill on the battlefield. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you believe it. Because others do. As I believed in the heroes of my father's stories. After all, when we are gone,
story so much remain. Okay. Well, there you go. Good game. Um, and th uh, thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed this game. More than maybe any other tactical RPG I've played. Um, so, uh, I, you know... I don't have much to add, to be honest. I I would definitely, after this, I, I've been uh, considering maybe picking up a little bit of Battletech, um, like the TTRPG, just to try it out, see how it compares with this. I know that this is a, a fairly light um, in comparison to the actual, um, you know, in-person legitimate game. Uh, but, uh, you know, for better or for worse, I, I kind of appreciate that. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing how deep that this game gets. I definitely am going to probably, um, I, I'm definitely going to do another series of Battletech with mods. Um, it's something like now that I've gotten to know a lot of the, you know, the mechanics, I would like to see what the community of Battletech has uh, contributed in terms of like how, you know, a deeper version of this exact game. I also understand that the, uh, you know, the game runs a lot more smoothly with mods um, because this uh, was less than well optimized. Um, like, I, my computer is no slouch and the fact that it's struggling to play this uh, is, is kind of embarrassing. But um, with, you know, even with that, I, I still really enjoyed it. I really appreciated the execution on things. I wish there was a bit more variety in the environments, but I guess those came with some DLC. Um, I, we only got to do the one mission with uh, Cityscapes, so I wouldn't mind trying a, a couple more of those, but uh, I'll definitely want a break from this. Um, the next series for me is likely either going to be either Solasta or um, Baldur's Gate 3, depending on uh, the timing of this, but uh, Baldur's Gate 3 is coming up pretty soon. So like I say, I'm probably going to take a break from uh, Battletech for a little while but I've really enjoyed this game and uh, I've appreciated uh, anyone and everyone that comments on this series because I know that this is fairly niche in the grand scheme of things um, I know it's very popular amongst you know the TTRPG community but uh, or not even RPG just tabletop wargaming um, it's, it's got a very very passionate community but uh, doing a series of this game is you know it's not going to have a huge crowd. I, I'll definitely be checking out um, Hairbrained Scheme's other games, like uh, the Shadowrun series, as well as I would. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited for their uh, Lamplighters League that comes out, I think, in September. So I might be checking that out. But um, I, I have a funny feeling that Baldur's Gate is going to take a lot more time than this to complete. So I hope that I enjoy that game even like half as much as this one. Uh, different, very different kind of game. I understand that. But anyway, this is going to be a fairly short episode um, because, you know, there's nothing more to do. I could do some sandbox stuff, but I don't think that that would be an appropriate way of ending. We do apparently have an epilogue. I just escaped the uh the credits sorry everyone that worked on battletech sorry <laughs> florentia darius samire yang farah though through your courage skill and sacrifice the reach has been saved and i have reclaimed my throne without any of you our campaign would have ended in tragedy i can never adequately repay you for your service to the reach i owe a great debt as well without your company's help i would be dead i consider it a great honor to call you my friends the feeling is mutual, Lord Madeira. We'll miss having you aboard the Argo. That means a great deal to me. Thank you. It's a new era for the Reach, and I have your company to thank for it. The Directorate has fallen, Victoria is dead, and my uncle is in chains. Um, You'll give him a show trial, I imagine. I'd appreciate an invitation. 
There will be no trial, at least not in the Reach. Alexander gave me a better alternative. Don't worry though, my uncle will receive his taste of justice soon enough. Consider my curiosity piqued. What did you do with him? We've handed him over to Protector Thomas Calderon to be tried as the mastermind of the Perdition Massacre. His war crimes tribunal is being assembled as we speak. The Torians were quite appreciative of the gesture. I'm sure they were, and that's the last we'll hear of Director Espinosa. He brought his fate upon himself. I'm afraid that our time is growing short. We have a great deal of work to do if we're going to recover from this war, but if you have any final questions before we move on to the subject of your pay, I'll be happy to hear them. If we, before we talk money, I'd like to hear what's next for the restoration. After all we've been through, I feel invested in your success. I was wondering the same thing. I mean, you've retaken your throne, and that's wonderful, but the Reach is in ruins. How are you planning to rebuild? Slowly, and with great caution, we can't afford to spread ourselves too thin, but neither can we leave our more marginal systems hanging. In the short term, we're going to need to secure funding and support from sources outside the Reach. The economy of the old Oregon, uh, Oregon coalition is all but destroyed, and our infrastructure is in, ex in extremely poor shape. How do you intend to go about getting that support? However we can, political marriages will be invaluable. Our sovereignty is our greatest asset, and I'm still thinking through ways to capitalize on it. We'll have difficult times ahead, to be sure, but we will weather them. The reach is nothing if not resilient. And now, we should have more, uh, we should move on to discuss your company's compensation. You've certainly earned it. For your exemplary work, both on and off the battlefield, your financial debts are now forgiven. Those were the terms of our arrangement, but you deserve a little more than that, I think. From this moment, mo moment forward, the Argo is yours. I relinquish her into your control. You may consider her a bonus for a job well done. A second token of my appreciation is on its way to your mech bay now. Please accept it with my compliments. Uh, thank you, Kamea. We'll put your gifts to good use. Good, and with that, I'm afraid that I must return to matters of state. My people need me, and I must get back to helping where I can. You will always be remembered as friends of the Reach, every one of you. Goodbye, Kamea. Rule wisely and well. Make Raju Montgomery proud. I'll try. Believe me, I will try. Farewell, my friends. I wish you success in your adventures to come. I guess that's it. Our contract with Lady Arano is over, the Argo is ours, and we're free to do whatever we please. It feels weird saying that. We can do whatever we want. We're not beholden to anybody. It's a pretty sweet feeling, I've got to say. So, who else wants to go find some more a new trouble to get into? Peacetime is beautiful and all, but it's starting to feel a little stale in here. I'm game if you are. Trouble is our business, after all. And we've got more than enough battle mechs to handle whatever fade, uh, fate throws at us. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm in the mood to earn a few sea bills. Roger that. You all heard the commander. Take your stations and make it quick. We've got an open sky ahead of us, and we that's there's money to be made. Now that the war is over and we're debt-free, we can go anywhere we want on the star map. No more hostile nations or sealed borders to worry about. It feels good, I've got to say. Now that I've re reclaimed my throne, the reach is again at peace. As such, I imagine you're more likely to need this Atlas too than I am. Take it with my compliments. You've earned it. I don't think I am overly impressed with the Atlas too, to be honest. But I'm sure it's a nice mech. Hello? Oh my god. Know that the Atlas II, the DHT model, carries more energy weaponry and usually a lighter, more flexible autocannon. It still has unbelievable protection and the same crushing melee ability as our other Atlas models. No empty bays. <laughs> Scrap it. It's not worth it. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll take it. Um, we've got two Marauders. Uh, honestly, I'm tempted to scrap the quick draw. I know, I know. It's like, why not just scrap the battle, the blackjack? Sentimental reasons, really. Uh, the, the correct move is, of course, to scrap the spider, because who cares? That mech is ready to fight again. We call the Cataphract a Franken-mech, because it's got a little bit of everything stitched together on it. The 1X model works well at medium range, medium long to closer range with good armor and weaponry. Of course, that's a problem because we don't have any space left over. 
Scrap the quick draw. Um, the quick draw's got some pretty good stuff on it. Honestly, the cataphract is like the latest thing we've got, so just sell it. Or send it to storage, maybe? Send it to storage. We don't need it right now. So, um, I think what I'd like to do next, personally, is... And I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'm basically just going to fully upgrade the Argo. Um, yeah, I've got the money. I should be able to afford it. Uh, there's a couple of expensive ones, but mostly it's... It should be easy. Um, oh, that one's kind of expensive. Gamma Pod is pretty bad. Oh, those are the pods. I kept thinking that those were the engines. So no wonder that those things never looked fully repaired. The Argo almost looks like spit shine polished, which is nice. But yeah, that's going to do it. Um, again, if you've enjoyed this series, uh, please, you know, show some support. Hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you just discovered me. Uh, I'd appreciate it. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Um, I guess Baldur Gate, Baldur's Gate 3? If not, Celasta. We'll see. Take it easy, y'all. Have a good one.